Today we are going to take a look at Chet Atkins' trombone. Uh, now this is the song that was originally recorded uh, with a band and on an electric guitar uh, with a whammy bar. And uh, later, I I'm not actually sure if Chet Atkins did um, the acoustic uh, arrangement himself or whether it was uh, someone else later. Mm, anyway, in our acoustic arrangement we will try to simulate uh, this whammy bar effect which is probably the most interesting uh, part and characteristical part of the song. Um, and of course we won't be able to, uh, to play everything that was in the original, um, but we will try to uh, get as close as we can. There are a couple of, um, of uh, versions on, on YouTube, uh, and um, probably no two versions are exactly the same. Uh, so uh, this is uh, this is the way I play it, uh, which is close to uh, which is close to I think Tommy Emanuel's version. Uh, that's where I first uh, heard the song. Um, so uh, let's take a closer look at it. The most recognizable thing in, in this song are uh, all those uh, bands uh, that are meant to simulate the the whammy bar. So uh, all those. <coughs> Okay, and uh, still, even though it's um, it's essential for this song to, to to work well, I suggest that you, f especially if you are a beginner, that you first learn learn it without uh, without this effect, without this technique, and only later um, add it uh, in an amount that you that you see fit. So. Uh, let's take a look at uh, at the chords. Uh, chords are very simple, and uh, one important thing to note is that you don't have to use uh, a barra uh, through all the song. There is a place where where I use it, but it's not necessary there. And I will show you uh, how to work around it in in this place. So we start with C major, then we go to A major, then it's F. Then it's uh, uh, F sharp. Uh, oh no, it's actually it's actually D uh, D seven with third in the bass, and we finish at at this C uh, C eleven, I guess, uh, with with G in the bass, which goes to to G. So let me slowly play just the boom chick for you so that you can see how it works. Uh, we have this, which uh, I think I played actually. So uh, here we add uh, a seven in the version with uh, with a barra, but uh, you can as well just move uh, move this F uh, F shape here. Okay, instead of going. And this, uh, this seventh, it's not uh, that big of a difference, I think, uh, especially if your barre is um, is still not that strong. Uh, maybe you should learn this song uh, like like this. And uh, you'll notice that I I didn't do all those, right? Uh, so now let me play it with uh, with those uh, things implemented. So it goes. Okay, 
Uh, now, a uh, couple of couple of things. Uh, you can start the song or start the um, the second time round. Uh, you you play it uh, either by this uh, little uh, swing lick. So it's or you can just go. Okay, so uh, th those are two ways. And uh, the second thing is. Um, the second thing is uh, this. Second time, for example, is then instead of going uh, like so, you can go. So it's. So it's instead of. You go. As for the melody, um, let me show you how it fits in, in those chords. In C, it's so slowly together, and you'll notice that uh, I do a pull up here. It's not necessary, but uh, but I think it's easier that way uh, if you if you know your pull-offs, of course. So again, and also notice this. You move your third finger. Uh, so it's all within uh, within C major, uh, only with switching paths. That it doesn't start on the on the first beat, uh, but on the second. So, now A major, and the melody is actually the same. So, and here we go. Uh, and here the melody goes so it's uh, the first half of, uh, of what you already know only with different chords so um, one other thing uh, if you already add all those uh, all those bands um, you can s s sort of uh, simulate a, a band here uh, because you go from E to F so it's hard to bend an E, right? But you can um, you can stretch your neck a little like this. So start from something like this and then release it. So that uh, it sounds almost as if you go towards the F. Okay, instead of just going. So it it can be helpful to uh, to maintain this whammy bar effect uh, here as well. Uh, so and here you go. Then uh, it's uh, D major with F sharp in bass. Here you can use your third finger, so it's you can use your third finger, or if you have a smaller hand, for example, you can use also your fourth. So okay, so especially since uh, it will be uh, on on this fret uh, already from previous chord chain. And now uh, on one you do a little slap. So So it's 
notice that uh, you play this, this this G here, not on one but on two. So one, two, and three. So, uh, so again. And here you go from uh, from this, which is uh, C. So it's this. You go to this, which is G. So. Okay. Uh, uh, and um, let me think. Uh, here, uh, you don't have to actually barre this. Uh, it doesn't have to be this half barre. You can just uh, you can just uh, put your finger on the um, third fret uh, fourth string, and then you go. Oh, here, actually, you have to barre, or you can go like this. But uh, by doing uh, the barre, uh, you just maintain one one hand position, and here you just go. So it's uh, it's a little easier. Um, if of course you have uh, hands uh, elastic enough to, to do so. So. G7 and, and the melody goes pull off at the end. So. Okay. But you can play it very similarly by going. Or. So here we go. Then uh, on the fourth string you have um, you have G and not uh, not F instead of okay. and then you go to C then this is um, let me quickly think uh, this is G G G G G eleven so. All the song. Uh, one thing I do to uh, to be able to play it uh, twice without uh, boring my uh, listeners to death um, is uh, I move uh, I move hold the melody uh, up a little. So instead of going uh, second time around, instead of going like this, I go. So uh, if you want to um, if you want to use it, um, l let me show you how it goes. The chords are uh, exactly the same. Uh, you just have to uh, press different uh, frets for for this new uh, alt altered melody line. So uh, you, now you begin on uh, on the first string. Then the same as a moment ago. Then and here, uh, since it, it, it was D, you go. Okay, so this is uh, D D seven. Then I go back to, to normal melody. Uh, so let me play this altered melody uh, for you. Okay. Um, and 
uh, the rest is the same. Uh, now, the other thing uh, that, uh, that you should try to achieve um, as soon as you know the song well is some freedom in, in building the, this melody because uh, you don't want to play, play it always in, in this rhythm. Yeah, you can uh, introduce small uh, rhythm, uh, rhythmical changes uh, into it. So instead of going, you can go, or okay. So um, in my performance, I probably did a, c a couple of those. Uh, if you like any of them, try to try to learn it, try to use it, and also try to. Uh, to come up with your own uh, ways of making this melody a little bit more interesting because the more variations you introduce to it uh, the more times you can play it uh, like uh, you know you play the whole thing once twice as i did you can play the third time the fourth fourth time only if um, each time is uh, has something different is uh, is interesting in some way um, and uh, th that's the way to to make this song uh, more playable because uh, on its own it's um, it's pretty short, right? Uh, but uh, if you develop it, it can uh, become something very interesting. Okay, so I think that's all. Um, thanks for watching. See you next time.